Do you think, based on the conversations last night that Chris Bowen chaired, the Cabinet meeting today about which we've been given some public accounts, uh, they're making some progress here? There's certainly some change afoot. Uh, you know, first thing to point out, it's not necessarily going to deliver immediate help over the coming winter, Greg, but yeah. on a, f a few things you mentioned there. So today, uh, Chris Bowen announced, along with Madeleine King, the Resources Minister, uh, a review of this gas export trigger, as it's known. Everything's on the table. There were some specific questions about could it become a trigger based on price rather than supply, as it currently is. That's being looked at. Um, could it be changed so that you could actually force more gas into the domestic market immediately rather than next calendar year? Well, again, yes, that is going to be looked at. And this review, we're told, will only take some weeks. So, look, in theory uh, here, Greg, we could have a far more powerful trigger that suddenly government of the day could pull based on where the price of gas is. If it gets too high, bam, pull yeah. the trigger and more gas, a certain amount has to be pumped back into the domestic market. Reality, though... I doubt they're going to go with something that powerful uh, that would certainly, um, well, it would, it would deeply upset the gas majors, the, the big LNG exporters, but create that sort of risk around Australia's reputation as a, uh, as, a, as a big global energy supplier. So I think, yes, we'll see some change to this, but I don't think they'll go quite as far uh, as some might be uh, hoping for.